Hi, I'm Ellen, and welcome back to Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this data entry form in Google Sheets that includes submit, search, delete, reset, and modify buttons. In this form, there is a drop down list that when you choose an item from this list and click on submit button, the data will save on the related sheet. And also, you can search for an item through all sheets. Okay, enough talk. Let's see how to create this practical form. Today, I will create this data entry form. When I add a new entry and click the submit button, the data will be saved to the sheet based on the department name. I can search for an employee with the ID through the sheets with the search button. There is a modify button so I can search for an employee, then modify the data and submit it again. There is a reset button to clear the form and delete to delete an employee from the sheets. Okay, let's get started. First, I should create the form so I merge these cells and change the background color. Now I type the title New Employee Form. I change the font color, size, and style. All right, I create a search field. Again, I do some formatting. Now I select these cells. I change the background color and choose border for them. I do the same and create some fields for typing new data. Employee ID, hiring date, phone number, department, email, and address. Before drawing buttons, I prefer to turn the grid line up. So, on the View tab, Show, and Grid Line. Okay, it seems good. And I change the form background color and outer borders. For the hiring date, I prefer to have a calendar in the cell. So, I select the cell. Then on the Data tab, Data Validation. For the criteria, I choose Is Valid Date. Reject Input and Done. As you can see, a calendar will open when I double click on the cell. For Email, I need a valid email. So I select the cell. Then on the Data tab, Data Validation. For criteria, I choose text is valid email. Reject input and done. Now the important field is the department. I need a drop down list where the user chooses the department from the list and clicks on submit button. The data will save on a sheet based on the department name. So I select the cell, I go to the insert tab, and down here, drop down. Now I type the drop down names in these fields HR, RD, Finance, and Sale. And done. As you can see, a drop down menu is created. 
All right, now I create sheets based on the department name. The name of this sheet is form. Now I add four other sheets. HR, R&D, Finance, and Save. Okay, it's time to draw the buttons. I go to Insert tab and Drawing. Now by using these tools, I create a search button. Now save and close. I do the same and create other buttons. Alright, the form sheet with the search, submit, modify, reset, and delete buttons is ready. Now it's time to type the code and assign each button to the related code. For typing the code, I go to the extensions tab, apps script. Alright, I type the code and then explain it to you. This is the submit code. This code defines a function called submit that is triggered when a user submits a form. The function first gets the active spreadsheet and the sheet named form. It then gets the value of cell D13 in the form sheet, which represents the department name. If the department field is blank, an alert message is displayed. Otherwise, a confirmation message is displayed asking if the user wants to submit the data. If the user clicks no, the function finished here. If the user clicks yes, the function identifies the next blank row in a sheet with a name matching the department name and populates that row with data from cells D7, D9, D11, D13, D15 and D17 in the form sheet. Finally, all data in cells D5 to D17 in the form sheet are cleared and an alert message is displayed confirming that a new employee has been submitted. Okay, I click on save button. Now I copy the function name. I go to the sheet and click on these three dots to assign the submit button to the function. Now I paste the function name and save. Now let's create a reset code. This code defines a function called reset form that resets the Google Sheet form. First, it declares a variable called ss and sets it to the reference of the active Google Sheet. It then declares a variable called form and sets it to the sheet named form. Next, it creates an instance of the user interface environment to use the alert features and declares a variable called UI. It then uses the UI.alert method to display a confirmation message asking if the user wants to reset the form. The user's response is stored in a variable called response. If the user clicks no, the function returns. If they click yes, the function continues and removes data from specific cells on the form. Finally, an alert is displayed saying done to indicate that the form has been successfully reset. Again, I click on save icon. Now I assign the reset button to the code. Now this is a search code. The function search begins by getting the active spreadsheet and then getting the sheet named form. It then gets the value of cell D5. Next, 
in loops through an array of strings using this method. For each string in the array, it gets all the values from the corresponding sheet. Again, I click on Save icon. Now I assign the search button to the code. Next button is Modify. Let's see the code. This code is a function called update data. As before, these lines get the active spreadsheet and the form sheet. It then gets the value of cell D5 on that sheet. The code then loops through an array of sheet names using a for each function. For each sheet, it gets all the values in the sheet using this method. It then looks through each row in those values and checks if the value in the search column matches the search term from from earlier. If it does, it gets the row number and creates a new array of values to update with. It then sets those values in the appropriate row on that sheet using this method. Finally, it displays an alert saying data updated. Again, I click on save icon. Now I assign the modify button to the code. The last button is delete. This code is a function called row delete that deletes a row from multiple sheets in a Google Sheet document based on a value entered in cell D5 of the form sheet. First, it gets the active spreadsheet and the form sheet. Then it prompts the user with an alert asking if they want to delete the row. If the user clicks yes, it gets the value in cell D5 and loops through an array of sheet names. For each sheet, it gets all the values in the sheet and loops through each row. If the value matches the value in cell D5, it deletes that row. It then clears cells D5, D7, D9, D11, D13, D15, and D17 on the form sheet and returns the value on the form sheet. Overall, this function allows for easy deletion of a row across multiple sheets based on a single input value. Again, I click on Save icon and assign the delete button to the code. Okay, let's test the form. I fill the form. I choose HR for department. Now I click on Submit button. A message will appear. I click on Yes. The data submitted. Let's check the HR sheet. As you can see, the data is added. Now I add another one. Okay, let's search the data. I enter an ID and search. It works well. Now I modify it. I click on modify button. I go to the sheet to see the modification. At the end, let's check the reset and delete buttons. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial to improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you need any kind of data entry form, share with me in the comments and I will create a video for that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.